Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this video, we are going to learn about the different spaces while using the constraint and how we can actually use uh, the global space or the world space and the local space. Now for that, I have taken three objects, one cube, one uh, torus and another one is the cone. So these three objects, through this three object, I'm going to show you uh, what exactly this world space or the global space and the local space are actually uh, effect. So to make a relationship out of this tree, uh, first of all, what I will do is uh, I have just turn on the axis uh, from the object property. Just turn on this axis so that you can see that uh, this axis. This axis is going to uh, indicate the local axis of the of of a particular object so so that uh, by default uh, uh, we are having uh, the global axis on in, the, in our viewport uh, so just on this uh, from the viewport display under the object properties panel and I have just given three different random colors and what I'm going to do is first I'll just select this cone and shift select the torus and just hit control P and just making it as parent so this is by default this is the parent of of this cone and this is gonna uh, control the um, obviously this is gonna control the uh, position and the rotation of of this cone later on what I'm gonna do is I go to the constraint panel and apply a copy location constraint and turn on this uh, select cube so right now what is actually happening is uh, though uh, my uh, torus is the parent but as I have given m uh, the permission uh, of of my of my cones uh, location access to be controlled by this uh, uh, cube so right now torus don't have any control over this transformation sorry only the location values but if we rotate this one you can see still the object is uh, getting influences uh, by the rotation of of the torus now this is going to be a really interesting one now if i select this uh, cone and turn on the offset button on and drag it over its region and then I just rotate this torus to give it a, a direction and then we hit move I oh, sorry uh, so just move it. the object is still getting uh, controlled by by uh, the cube but the rotation however is still on the uh, uh, inside the torus hand now Let's come to this point of why the space values are so important. So right now, if I just uh, do one thing, just turn off the thing. Yeah. So it will be like first it will be world space to world space. Now if I move my box, it will go up because the same value has been transferred, and it will calculate the z-axis according to the world axis because I have already put it in the world space to world space now if I convert the world space to local space now what is exactly happening over here see this object is getting aligned with uh, the torus because now it is not exactly depending uh, the position not exactly depending on the cube because the cube is still in the uh, global axis now the rotational value of this particular torus can right now influence the position of my uh, cube and this is really really interesting now if I select this box of the cube and if I make movement in the Z axis so what will happen as my objects uh, the cones uh, receiving data has been saved 
into the local space calculation. This cone is now going to, you know, uh, move according to its local axis, not the global axis. This is really, really interesting one because right now I can change my object's direction where whatever direction I want and then what I can do is uh, I just simply uh, you know, move this object to, to a completely different direction. So these setup generally a really, really important, uh, sorry, really, really important in terms of the mechanical way. I'm just going to want to show you one more uh, thing over here. Even if you uh, rotate your uh, parent object over here, suppose I just want my object to be uh, in this direction, the z-axis will be this, this direction. This one will be something like straight maybe. Or just a bit. No. completely different direction. So right now the z-axis is aligned or inclined in in, in this direction and uh, of the, of the cube, and the z-axis of the uh, uh, cone is actually inclined on this direction. Now if we uh, select and move into our local mode, we'll see what happened. Now the problem is this local mode is transferring its global value sorry not local mode the object is transferring the global value to its local the, to the to the local space of my cone now what is its global value the global value is somewhere uh, into y uh, z and then the other direction whereas Right now, I need to change my input uh, space from world space to the local space because that's how I want my influence to. I, I will move my uh, box into this direction and my uh, cone will be followed into its uh, own Z direction. Now, this is something really interesting. Right now, you actually can have that. So, you have to remember one thing that parent and the child child's uh, space is defined over here the left one is the parent's uh, space and the right one is the child's space so every time we change them it actually influence the uh, the uh, child objects also so you have to be very very careful that what exactly you want to do and which direction you want to do so the mechanical rigs require this kind of a directional change and the controls uh, uh, according to the requirement of your of your flaps uh, in, inside a jet maybe or you want to uh, control a hinge to a, a particular direction or maybe a, a specific mechanical movement of, of a sh particular shaft where you want a, a specific direction. So these are the uh, space differences in, 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 in Blender where you actually can change your uh, space uh, uh, allotment according to, according to your requirement to the global space or maybe the local space. So hope this will help you out. Thank you very much.